Friday the Canadian stand for good morning <clears throat> Saturday April 8th I am more awake today than I was last Saturday uh, looking back at last Saturday I feel like I was in a bit of a haze so today I'm far more perky and awake I've got my bunny ears on and I've got two let me show you it's kind of hard to show 3d projects so I've got this one this little basket, oh, oh my gosh, this little basket, <laughs> as all the trees fall out, and then this little one. This one's probably my favorite because it's got the bendy ears to it. So those are our two projects today. And I have a bit of an announcement for an event that I've just decided I'm going to do. Um, so we're going to talk about that. And I've got card buffet uh, at 10 o'clock, so we're gonna, hopefully these are quick. I had to do a bit of Frankensteining for the measurements to get my candies in, but I'll talk about that in a moment. So let's do it. Um, let me flip you. And I was messing with my, um, up my candy I was messing with my camera because I was doing some videos so I hope it's I hope it is at the right height I think so so here's our two little projects my candies that fell out you could put you know the crinkly stuff in the bottom but I feel like it kind of rips you off for how much candy you can get in there <laughs> So there's that. Now the other thing is that this this is a heat embossed dragonfly. I didn't make this this morning. I have a stack of like just extra little pieces. I'm just going to show you stuff like this. And so as I'm making these, I thought, oh, well, I'll just throw some of the things that are already. That looks pretty too, actually. I'll just throw some of the bits and bobs that I have. So, and you don't need very much paper. So, let's do it. I'm just bringing up comments. There I am live. Okay, so you're gonna need your score. Well, you can use scoreboard or you can use uh, your trimmer. Either one works. And this is, these are our two pieces that we're gonna, there's, it's pretty, let's do the bunny ears first. So we're gonna do this one. So I don't know if you wanna take a photo of that. I could do it more not fancy, but more um, official later in a post. I'm on the wrong profile. So we don't need this piece, but to do the bunny ears, like we don't need this whole piece, I mean, but I need a one inch piece that's 12 by one for the bunny ears. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, I'm on. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut a piece so the Stampin' Up trimmer you can go either side so on the left hand side it's one inch and it goes if you tuck it all the way to the like where it goes light gray to brown this is one and a half all day long so sometimes when it's smaller pieces what do I need I need one inch I like to go on on this side but you could go the other side too doesn't matter and the other thing that happens with the Stampin' Up! trimmer is this arm comes out so that you can do more. Okay, so we're gonna flip this and we're gonna score at one and a half. So Stampin' Up! trimmer, it's got the two, it's got two, so this is the cutter, which we don't want, and this is the trimmer, or I mean score blade. And then we're gonna go five and a quarter scoring six and three quarters I don't know if you're gonna see it all the way six and three quarters and then ten and a quarter so this will give us the the wrap whoops where am I ten and a quarter okay so then what we need I don't know if this piece is big enough oh it is I need a three by three piece so what I mean by when I Frankensteined is that some of the demonstrators or folks who have 
put this together didn't have this little box in here and I have these candies they have something called nuggets which I think are chocolate they must be demonstrators from the states or people from the states I've I, maybe you can get nuggets here I don't I don't really know what that is it's a it's chocolate but anyways so I needed to make something to hold the candies that I had and so I have a three by three piece and I'm going to score it at three quarters. So let's move this out of the way. So I'm gonna go three quarters, then I'm gonna rotate and I'm gonna go one inch. I'm gonna rotate, I'm gonna go three quarters and then I'm gonna rotate and do one inch. So essentially I've done one inch on either side, one inch marks and then three quarters on either side. And then I'm just gonna fold. Yeah. Okay, let's move this. Good morning, Gail. Hi, Terry. Yes, happy Easter. I've got my, <clears throat> got my bunny ears. I found them downstairs. I was pulling out some Easter decorations to for the card buffet and I found two sets of bunny ears. So somebody else is gonna to get to wear bunny ears. So here's our strip, 12 inches by one. So here's, this is gonna be the base. Let me put this the sample one there. And so that's that. And now you've got two more score marks up here. So we're gonna bend here and we're gonna bend here. Now I'm gonna hold, see where that cuts down there, or not cut, where it's folded. These aren't even and it doesn't matter because you're not gonna see it anyways. So I'm gonna kind of hold it there and then I just wanna flex this paper a little bit. Actually, well, I like the one, there was one where somebody had like a little floppy ear. I tried to make my ears that I'm wearing right now floppy, but it's not working. Anyways, you can do your ears how you want them. I kind of want a floppy ear like that. Now, uh, you could glue these and whatnot. I'm. I think I'm lazy by doing this, but hey, if you're gonna make a whole bunch of these, lazy's okay. There, holds it together. Now, I probably should have done this before I did that, but that's okay. It's all good. So this is gonna fit in here. So we're gonna cut that, we're just making a basic box. So you may not be able to see it, but I've got my score lines. What side of the paper am I on? I'm on the one inch side, one inch and one inch. So cut up, you know about flagging, right? So when you score, you end up with like a little bump. That's the mountain. So you wanna just wedge. See how there's like a wedge? You don't have to, but when you're making your box, you'll find that if you wedge, it's just ever so slightly. You'll find the pieces go together a bit better. And when you have two pieces that um, connect, I should have left one off actually. So when you fold these in like this, had you not wedged this piece, when you fold this in, it's possible that this piece could stand up above your other edge. I mean, it's a bit finicky. I mean, you really gotta be inspecting the box to kind of box mechanics to know whether or not somebody did it. But the other thing is, is it, it makes it, it just makes the project go together a bit, a bit nicer. So the reason why I'm putting glue on the tabs and not this tall piece is because in my sample, I put it on what I mean by tall pieces. See how this piece sticks up? I did, I've done that on purpose. Um, I just didn't want a whole bunch of bulk. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I gotta cut the edges. So I'm putting the glue on the tabs down here. If I put glue here, I might end up with glue up there and, I, and I'm not down with that. Okay. See our little boxes coming together? So I'm, I'm pinching here just to make sure that my sides are tucked in. My little tabs are tucked in and then just letting it get a bit tacky. What's everybody doing for Easter? What's the plan? I'm gonna add just a bit because I want this to sit. We, uh, my mom was over 
<clears throat> and we were talking. She's like, oh, do you want to come over for dinner sometime? I said, oh, yeah, sure. And then we were talking, you know, do you want to do Saturday or Sunday? And then we realized it was Easter, so that was kind of funny. There's a lot going on. All right, so there's our little box. I'm going to steal some candies out of here. So these are Werther's. Where's the bag? These ones, Werther's candies. So I'm going to tuck two of these in here and then now in my sample I actually glued this but now that I'm now that I'm doing I'm wondering if it's better actually <clears throat> to slide this in if it slides let's see this is live so hopefully it works oh my gosh I even matched the paper properly that's a happy accident Okay, so I don't like this, this little bit, so I'm just gonna cut it. And I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm cutting it just to have the same contour as the contour of this, you know what I mean? This one I think is fun, I don't think I need to. I think I like this one better in that you can just pop this out and it's snug enough that it's stain. Ooh, pretty, that's pretty clever, Tanya. Good job. All right, so we're gonna do two ribbons. Um, sure, let's do two. I was thinking I don't necessarily need this one on this, actually let's, uh, yeah, it makes it pretty actually, let's do this. So we're gonna take this and I'm just gonna guesstimate how much ribbon I need. Uh, Gail, you are doing dinner with family and chillwack tomorrow. Nice. I love that we can have family time together. I went, we made it all, or I made it all the way to Europe and back and however many countries I went to, four, well, not countries, cities, and didn't get sick. And then I got home and I went to the grocery store I don't know, someday this week. And there was tons of people wearing masks. I thought, oh man, I maybe can count on one hand how many people I saw wearing masks in all of Europe. And then I found out there's like a bit of an outbreak. Anyways, I'm glad that we can all get together. Okay. Now, the other one that we're doing is, I just wanna add a little something at the top there. So again, I'm just going to guesstimate how much ribbon. Sure, that seems about right. So this and the next one are going to be projects for the card buffet. Oh, let me tell you. So I decided, so um, let me just give you the background. There's a new catalog, new annual catalog coming for Stampin' Up. Uh, it happens in May every year. And um, I've never done a launch party per se, but I am particularly excited about this catalog and all the things. And I feel like I'm prepared or I can be prepared enough to do a launch party. So the Take Your Pick workshop in May, I'm gonna double it up as a launch party. What does that mean? It means that you're gonna see new stuff from the catalog, you can pick up a catalog, and I've been collecting some things because um, we're gonna do some prizes. I have a mini stamp cut and emboss machine to give away, and I've got some other goodies to give away. I don't wanna give away all my secrets. Yeah, so that's what I decided is gonna happen. Okay, there's our first project, done. Cute. So here's the next one. Uh, so here's the sticky. Yes, Nancy, for sure steal it for your Easter dinner. It's exactly the purpose. Okay, so this one, this little basket. I mean, you have. It's more of a commitment for candy, right? You gotta have 
So depending on how many of these you need, you only need two will only fit in here or that whatever that nugget thing is some people are putting in or whatever you think can fit. How big is this? Let me share that with you. So this is one and a half-ish by one. Okay, this one, how big is this one? This one is one and a half by two. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I've picked directional paper, which is probably not the smartest thing, but whatever, let's just see how it goes. So we need two things. So we're gonna do, this is the handle. This is the basket. So let me walk you through it. Uh, so we need our arm out. And now I'm gonna have to think for a minute. Um, so how big is this? This is four, so I have enough to get my handle. So let's cut the handle first at a half inch. Is that right? Yeah, half inch is there. Set that aside. We need to cut it some more. So then we need uh, six and a half. by three and a half. I probably shouldn't have picked directional paper. That was a, that was a fail, I think. We'll see. I made a second coffee today. I don't normally drink my coffee while I'm doing this. Okay, so, um, on the three and a half inch side, we're gonna score at one and a half. So I'm gonna go one and a half on this side. I don't want my cutting blade, I want my score blade. And I'm going to turn to the right, is what this means. So why I wanna to turn to the right is because this is the base of my basket. This is gonna be the top of my basket, this section here. Okay, let's just, let's just get rid of this, like so. So the reason why I want, I'm gonna score, but I'm gonna score only up to this line and then I'm gonna fold all the pieces and make my base. So we're three and a half inch side, we've scored at one and a half, we're rotating to the right and we're gonna score at one and a half. Whoops. Scoring from the top just down to this line. We're not scoring the whole thing just to that three and a half inch score line that you did. Then we're gonna go to three over here. And again, we're gonna score just up to this line. So on your, do you see on here, there's like a little line. If you see where the score line is, you're gonna line this up to there. So that's how you know how to go all the way, well not all the way, but that's how you know how to where to go. Four and a half. And I'm just lining this to this. Looks like it's over, but it's not. Uh, and then at the six inch mark, we're gonna go all the way. All the way May. All the way. Okay. Now we can put the trimmer. Uh, oh no, we need to cut this. This is our hand, this is back to our handle, and this needs to be cut at six. So we're already at a half inch, and now we're at six. All right, now we can put this away. Okay, so here's our piece. We have this one. Don't worry about the fact that I put directional paper and it's the wrong way. Let's see, yep. This is the plain in the rain paper. So it's direction going this way, direction, oh, that's actually kind of nice how they did that. The rain is going this way. And if you were to turn it over, I guess it's, it would be better if this was this way, but anyways, I can't turn it over. All right, let's move on. So we have, let's go this side because maybe you can see the marks a bit better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up. So see how this has got this bump right here? This is the bump I'm talking about. So I cut, just to the edge and go up that way. And then I'm cutting on the other side of the bump 
and then it removes the bump. And we'll do it again. So we're just cutting up to that, that score line. And I think, I mean, personally, um, this basket that I did earlier, uh, the wedging is, is important. And I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you why. This, where's my basket? So this is the base of the other one. So there's the seam. And then here's the base. So if I had not wedged, okay, do you see how this, there's a little bit of a lip there and I want that. Had I not wedged, it's possible that this lip could come out further. I mean, it's a minor thing, but a thing nonetheless. Okay, so this whole little tab is going away because that's what's gonna hold our little basket together. So I'm wedging, but then this one is just a straight up cut. You don't have to worry. Oh, I mean, I suppose you can wedge if you want. Uh, it looks a bit like wood, doesn't it? Which way? Let's just go this way. All right, so I'm gonna use Tombow. Feel free to use tear and tape. I'm not brave enough for tear and tape. Now, the trick is, is when fastening things together, you want to strategically kind of get as close to the corners as you can without going over. It's like the price is right. Because, you and the reason why you don't want to go over is because it's going to ooze. Sorry, this should have been rolled a bit with your fingers first. And then you're just going to do this. And you're going to connect. It's going to be wobbly. We want it, I want it wobbly. And then you're just going to nestle it where you want it, lining up that, and then just let it get tacky. Now, the other finicky thing that you may or may not care about, we want, here's the sample, we want it to kind of be round, not kind of, it is round, we want it to be round, is this is the seam, and so therefore, I kind of want this facing away from people. So this would be the front of my little container, and therefore, it matters how I fold up my ends. So I'm just gonna show you. If I do this, then the last one goes away from me. And then it's just, the seams are tidier. So see, this one is the front, but I didn't do that. See, it might matter, it might not matter to you. You know. Okay, so I'm gonna add some glue. You could add glue to all the levels if you wish. It's not necessary, it's not gonna hold it's not gonna like and tear and tape too. I it's not gonna hold anything that heavy for it to matter. Usually I use tear and tape when it's serious business. You know, like when something's I really it's gonna hold something that's kind of heavy, or if the paper is gonna be manipulated a lot. So to make this not so pointy, you just just flex the paper to get it where you want. Okay, now our, um, not strap, handle, I might actually do opposite. I mean, you could do it this way, let's see. I don't think it much matters. I might go, I'm gonna go rain side. So take this and just kind of bend it with your fingers just to get that natural curve. I mean, you don't have to, but it just kind of helps your cause a bit. So we're gonna add a bit of glue here. We're gonna add a little bit of glue here. Now, going back to where the front is, which is here, and this is our seam back here, I'm gonna hold this to the inside. Just let it get tacky. Uh, how far down am I? Maybe a half an inch? I mean, it's just ornamental. I suppose you could pick it up with it too. Now, the decorating part, you could, you could certainly go a lot more fancy than what I'm doing, but I decided uh, just at the beginning, I was saying that I have some, like I have a bin of all these extra little pieces 
And so I'm gonna use those to decorate the front. So there's the back, there's my seams. So I want it to be this way. It's not that bad, hey, with the direction. I don't think I messed it up too bad. So this is super pretty. And I think that's too big. And I think I'm gonna go a flower and a little leaf. And I have enough candy to go in. I think I'm gonna do two like that. Uh, you could use dimensionals, but because this um, little basket is a bit curvy. I'm just going to stick with Tombow. And I'm going to tuck this leaf in before it dries too much. I always have trouble trying to figure out how to use all my little extra bits. So this is, I think it's a good idea. So let's put our candies in. These ones are a little more forgiving to, as far as, not forgiving, but easy to find candy to go in. Whereas this one, I mean, it's, you gotta be pretty specific. You're very limited. And like I said, you can put in the little scrunchy stuff inside the basket if you want. Love it, super cute. Okay, so I do have my directions here on the stickies. So if you miss those, not to worry, I will post them after the card buffet, uh, a little nicer so that it's, um, like you can maybe take a screenshot or save the photo. I'm gonna turn them this way so you can see. And then you can make them. Actually, in case you're making them right now, let me show you. Okay, so bunny ears. This is the handle, 12 by one. No, it's not the handle, it's the whole thing. 12 by one, scored, one and a half, five and a quarter, three and three quarters, 10 and a quarter. And then the little box, which you can choose to glue or not, is three by three, and then three quarters of an inch, and one inch. So um, just in case, so if you have the box, if you have your three by three piece of paper, you want two lines at, th what did I say? Three quarters, and like this one and this one being three and three quarters, but then these ones you want to be one inch, one inch. So that's what I mean, that's what I mean by this, three and three quarter and one inch. And then you saw how to put that together. So that's that one. Now this basket, the handle is six by a half. Then the basket is um, like the frame is six and a half by three and a half. So be mindful of directional um, if that's the paper you choose. And then on the three and a half inch side score at one and a half, and then turn it to the right. Remember, we had the top and the bottom of the basket. And then what would be the bottom of the basket you're scoring at? One and a half, three, four and a half, all part way. Don't go all the way. And then at the six inch mark, you are going all the way because that's the little tab to hold the ring together. That's it. That's it in a snapshot. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. It's 9.30. Fast and easy today. Hope you have a wonderful Easter. Uh, I will post some more about the special card buffet for May. If you want to sign up for that, there's limited spaces. And have a, have a wonderful Saturday. Bye for now.